remarkable, uh, remarkable young lady. But uh, in the meantime, we want you to stick around because we also got some good music for you as well. And uh, coming up uh, again, we've got Dawn. We've got John with Trip Gear. And right now in the background, just gotta say this, I wanna, I wanna dedicate, today is this guy's birthday. This is the late, great Donnie Phillips, right here, local artist. And uh, he's no longer with us. And we just say, Donnie, may you rest in peace. But join us in celebrating Jesus walking with us. Yes, yes. All right, and again, we've got great music. So stick around for a great show today. And again, thank you for joining us. And good morning to you. Good morning. Quiet. Y'all quiet. That's like, um, and I'm gonna tell you something. I'm, I'm not, I don't advocate, I, let, me, let me kind of preface this. I don't advocate violence, never, but I'm not necessarily against violence because God is not against violence. It's knowing the proper time to use. But if there's ever a time, if there's ever a time to do something protecting our women, is the time, and, and when I see, when I see, you know, our women on Facebook, man, getting getting abused by cops and getting abused like that, man, and I don't see anybody step in, I don't see any brothers, not even say anything. That that's that's the time to be tough. They don't want to do it. They you know what I'm tough. saying? I mean, there's a time for everything, yeah, man. And, um, that's, that's, I mean, you know, I think about my mom, I think about my sister, yes, I think yes. about my wife, and I, and I say, you know, if, if one of my brothers seen my wife being mistreated out like that, you know what I'm saying, how would I want them to? Right. Okay, go, Paul.
voice is changing too much, so he couldn't do it no more, but I can actually see that he's doing that and doing a little dance to go with it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he has to, oh, he's going to start probably sharing like a crazy, but I can just see, like, them just doing a little big dance like that. I, uh... I might have to go get, uh, go get Miss Dawn, she could say. I hope that gave her the right time. Give me a message. 
Is there another guy? Hmm? Trying to get you to mess up? Trying to get you to mess up this early night? 20 seconds, here we go. Going down. <clears throat> see young Paul dancing in the studio uh, to that one. But good morning, everybody. I uh, want to welcome you to Sunday Morning Perspective, and uh, thank you for uh, coming us out. Good morning, John. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, young Paul. Good morning. Good morning, Ronita. Good morning. <laughs> and good morning, Dawn. Good morning. <laughs> We've got a special, yes, our special do. guest in the uh, studio this morning. And uh, again, I just really, really want to thank you all for uh, for joining us. But uh, we have Don Jones in the studio. Just want to say Don. The Don Jones. The Don Jones. <laughs> Don is a, a sales and marketing, social media, and branding coach. Uh, mm. She's the founder and CEO of Twenty Nine Eleven Media LLC, a global marketing company. 2911 Media assists businesses from mom and pop to Fortune 100. Uh, establish, enhance, and elevate their brand identity in their marketplace through marketing, design, advertising, and social media. Offering uh, Her offerings include brand evolution and management, website design and management, graphic design, logo, logo design, social media management, and advertising uh, campaign creation and management. Dawn's a extensive background includes over 20 years, 20 years in advertising sales and marketing and has uh, worked with clients such as uh, State Farm, Hardee's, AARP, Pepsi, Sam's Club, and Procter & Gamble. Dawn also serves as a digi digital media coordinator for her church, uh, the New Beginnings Fellowship Church. Additionally, uh, she also serves as webmaster for Girlfriends Pray Ministry, an international women's prayer ministry, and is VP of Communications for the University of Phoenix Alumni Council in Indianapolis. Dawn is also, Dawn is also proud to be a member of the 2016 Boss Influencers. But I imagine this is the major thing Dawn would like to uh, for us to get across to you, Dawn resides in the Indianapolis area and is the proud mother of a 12-year-old son, DJ. Yep. Good morning, Dawn. Good morning. That's my biggest job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good morning. My goodness. I am so uh, grateful, and I was telling Dawn that when I when she sent me the bio, I sent it to uh, to John so he could look it over with a with a caption that said, "Wow, yes. wow, Dawn." <laughs> and uh, and uh, uh, and you're so you're so humble and down to earth. But uh, what made you uh, get into this line of work? Um, well, I, I think it was an oops. <laughs> <laughs> it was um, an oops. Uh, the uh, I spent twenty year, over twenty years in radio. Mm -hmm. And um, and w that was an oops as well, okay. getting into it. Um, I had um, actually went to school originally. It was a double major in biology and chemistry and wanted to be a dentist, actually an oral surgeon, biology. because someone told me, well, girls can't be oral surgeons. Wow. Because okay. they're not strong enough. So I was like, well, <laughs> okay. I'll show you. <laughs> um, but um, <clears throat> organic chemistry and gross anatomy kind of derailed that. <laughs> <laughs> um, the pretty tough classes, so I, I had gotten an offer to uh, go into sales and management with a rental car company, mm -hmm. and from that, um, moved into insurance sales for a few years, and then uh, the owners of the brand new uh, startup radio station in my hometown, okay. I've known since I was two, and they, okay. they come on board and help out a little, and I said, okay, I'll help part-time, and got okay. the radio bug, and that was it. Okay. Okay. And uh, we've got a we've got a lot of questions for you, so okay, you <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh, what did you do when you first shop in radio? My first job in radio was sales. It was sales. Was okay. sales. Um, okay. And I worked for a station, a startup station, the first urban radio station in Peoria. Okay. So what okay. we did was, um, you know, it, when you're that small of a station, you sell 
the advertising, you write the commercial, you yeah. produce the commercial, yeah. you're the DJ for the live remote, That's kicking it I off, mean, um, yeah, then yeah, you go yeah. schedule the commercial, you go pick up the money, yeah. and then you start the process all over again. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> John, John, no, John has some. Yes, uh, can you give us some tips about marketing and and why is it so important uh, in, in the business? And uh, just some basic tips, uh, uh, kind of the uh, if someone's starting a business and they want to they want to come to Don Jones and they say, you know something, what's the first thing we need to do when we market our product? Well, I think that the biggest challenge that I've noticed, especially when you're working with um, African-American-owned businesses, is that they go into it, they have a great idea or a great product, or mm -hmm. I can make cakes really well, or I can sew really well, so I'm going to open this up and I'm going to do it. You put all your resources into getting your storefront and um, your, lo your possibly logo done and um, getting inventory, but you forget about the marketing. Um, I think so many times because we get hyped on uh, my friends say I'm going to do well and the word's mm. going to spread and, and the thing is is that that's typically a very small circle of people that you can possibly really impact. We forget, you know, as business owners, they forget about the marketing. It's not a build it and they'll come. It's I need to build it, then tell somebody, then tell somebody again, and then tell somebody again. And so I think that's the biggest challenge. Um, and I think a lot of reasons why a lot of African American businesses fail mm. because they don't put money aside and dedicate it to marketing. Okay. And you have to constantly reinvent yourself because we are bombarded with 18,000 marketing messages every single day. And when we go to bed at night, we forget 75% of them. So in order for you to, to maintain that brand identity, that top of mind you know, awareness, you've got to consistently stay out there in front of your audience. Okay. That's powerful. I'm actually trying. I'm actually being a little selfish here. You know, <laughs> some free advice. <laughs> no problem. But that, but that's a extraordinary point uh, of what you're saying because we don't have the dollars. Mm -hmm. We can't go to the banks or even the investors. So when African Americans, blacks, Negroes, colored. <laughs> and we don't always just get the whole plot. Cover everybody. <laughs> <laughs> fill everybody in yeah, yeah. is that you're right that, that we don't have the uh, the dollars to to usually do that. So so it's imperative that we take uh, advice uh, from a professional like yourself. Right. And uh, I tell people all the time, an experience happens once, and sometimes when you don't take advantage of that experience, you have consequences that might not be positive. But can you tell us a little bit about your, your connection with uh, the New Beginning Fellowship Church, please? Sure, absolutely. Um, I uh, moved here seven years ago from North Carolina. I had been out there for 14 years, okay. originally from Peoria, Illinois. And I moved here. Um, I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry. North Carolina, what, what part? North Raleigh, outside of Raleigh. Oh, it's a beautiful city. It's a beautiful city. Yes, yes. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Yes. Um, Love being out there, love the food. Actually, the food loved me a little bit. Too. That's how it me. Um, and uh, still have some very close, dear friends and um, family, uh, or close friends like family back there. Um, but moved here um, essentially to be closer to my family. Um, I'm from Peoria. My sister's here. She has two daughters. And my sister had uh, gone through, um, she was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes and was very ill. Um, initially after the uh, diagnosis and so I felt I needed to be closer. I'm a big sister so okay. I need to be closer. Uh, so I moved sense. here um, <laughs> and uh, being um, raised in the church um, I never strayed too far so the second I got here I'm like okay I gotta find a church home and so I visited about eight churches here in the Indianapolis area some small some large just trying to get because the church I was at in North Carolina we had 400 uh, members okay. so it's a small church but I was an executive assistant to the pastor there. Okay. And so, um, you know, I knew I had to be somewhere quickly. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, I had, uh, the funny part is, is that when I started the church in North Carolina, they didn't have a logo, they didn't have letterhead, okay. and they didn't have a website. Okay. And so they created the position of public relations um, oh. director okay. for me um, when I came in with the expertise and we got them up and running. Mm -hmm. But I knew I didn't want to start from scratch again. So when mm -hmm. I was looking, and this is very, very key um, to a lot of people. People are very um, 
cyber friendly nowadays. And so what they'll do is they will go out and search and do the research on pretty much anything they plan to do, join, visit, whatever, ahead of time. Okay. And, and that's what I did. So I went and checked all the churches. I had a friend, um, I was very, very fortunate to have a friend at the radio station that had given me a list of here's some big churches, here's some medium sized churches, mm -hmm. here's some small churches. These are just some recommendations for you guys. So I didn't have to go start from scratch okay. figure out where I went to go. Nice. And um, what I did was do my research. And then there was one church that I was like, okay, and I had heard good things about it. And then I go to their website, and I was like, oh, I, I can't. I, I, I can't start from scratch okay. because in it, and, and I being with me being in marketing you know I need to be and then maybe that's just me being selfish okay. but I want to be someplace where they understood the importance of getting the word out and having it look a certain way mm -hmm. um, and in new beginnings I actually saw theirs when I went, went to the first list and then I left my list at work and that Sunday, I was like, what was the name of that church? I was like, okay, I'll go this other way. And I did that for several Sundays. And then one Sunday, I said, okay, I'm making a point to take the list home. Okay. And I took the list home. And um, on Father's Day in 2009, uh, went to New Beginnings. When I drove on the church grounds, I wasn't even, I was still in the parking lot. And the Holy Spirit said, this is home. This is home. And I'm not, yeah. and, and um just very, very blessed to be under the teaching of Dr. James Anthony Jackson. He's, He's awesome. an amazing guy. He's awesome. Yes. So humble. Yeah. Yes. Um, and, and, and just pre gives it to you straight, no chaser. No Doesn't chaser. sugarcoat it. He's yeah. really very, very real yeah. in how he presents his message. And um, I've grown a lot there. Um, had a lot, made some very, very lifelong friends. But grown a lot there spiritually as well. But I've also been able to take my gifts and have them help the church. Yeah, yeah. And and there was a couple of things that stood out to me as you were as you were speaking, uh, Dawn, uh, especially that last part about uh, you know straight no no chaser. Mm -hmm. and, and it's amazing we were we were kind of doing a uh, comparison in one of our groups the other day. And it's amazing it's amazing how when we're in the world you know because most of us haven't been saints all of our lives you know. Absolutely uh, not. Uh, I know I wasn't. I don't neither. And when I <laughs> when I was in the world you know I was I was in the world. And, um, and, uh, <laughs> sorry, we got some interruptions. Here. <laughs> when I, when I was in the world, I, I was in the world. And, um, uh, when, when I was called out of the world into the church, you know, there were some, there were some things God made clear. Uh, he said all that stuff, you know, that, that I was doing in the world, you don't want to do it the same way in the church, but the principles of it, like straight, no chaser. Mm -hmm. You know, that was the way I wanted the word as well. Mm -hmm. yes. So I always have a lot of respect for pastors like your pastor mm -hmm. who would just give it to us straight because, see, I didn't play in the world. You know, when I was in there, I was in it. Mm -hmm. Another thing that stood out to me that you said was, uh, and this is a good lesson for all of us, you know, it's one thing to just visit the church or to be a guest in the church or even join the church but not get involved in this right. ministry. Oh, you've got to get involved. Say that. Mm -hmm. You've got to get involved. I mean, I, I, I well, me, I've always been the type of person, if I'm going to do something, it's going to get 100% of me about. and my effort. And so I don't half-step anything. But I believe that we, everybody has been given talents. Yes. And I believe God gave us the talents to use them in the church to bring the unchurched to the church. That's so like my favorite sit, stories, Dawn. Yeah, so if you sit <laughs> on your talents and you just go to church and you're just a member mm -hmm. um, taking up, you know, room on the pew, you're doing God a disservice. Yes. yes. Yeah. Now, that's a good thing that you're there. Mm -hmm. It's correct. a good thing that because that's the mm -hmm. only way we're going to really, right. really get right. It's a good thing. But it has to go further. Has to. Has to go further. And I, yes. I really yes. appreciate yes. hearing you say that. So, so to our young, to our young people, yes. who are um, maybe going to uproot and go to different places and things, you know, I hope that they're hearing what you said when you were, as you did your your travels. God led you to different cities. Mm -hmm. You know how uh, one of your main purposes, one of the main things that you did was to first of all make sure that you had a church home. Got to have a covering. Gotcha. Oh, gotcha. covering. We're going to do something. We're going to do something with that covering. Okay. <laughs> John? Yes. I, I was stationed in North Carolina actually uh, three okay. different times. And I went there as a teenager. I just joined the Marine Corps. My, one of my buddies uh, from the West Side, from Gary Roosevelt. 
and we noticed something. We thought something was wrong with us, so we were driving in the Havelock. Uh, yes, Cherry. Yes. <laughs> and then we're driving up and down the street, and everybody's waving. Uh huh. Oh from my Garrett. gosh, yes. She, we're not used to that. Wow. And, I mean, and everybody, that me we're well. going in the community, and people are just waving. Hey, what have we done? I mean, we're <laughs> man, but like 99% white people back then in Havelock. And every children, and dogs, cats, everybody. <laughs> hey. So we just start waving back. And yeah. So uh, incredibly friendly, and, and I think uh, uh, Goldsboro or Riley, North Carolina, has been voted yeah. top ten cities. Uh, my God, for the mm -hmm. last 20, 25 years. Mm -hmm. So just a beautiful people. Uh, very good food, like you were saying. Very good food. So, so I can see where you've got that uh, uh, extraordinary personality from. Mm -hmm. that, that, that the folks there is just a very blessed some very good people very down to earth people you come yeah. to the big cities New York Chicago even Indianapolis and and you meet certain folks uh, not gonna, folks uh, not gonna name any names anyway <laughs> but just a quick uh, question we had some debate here about uh, praise dancing <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, so you, you know who that debate was with, right? No, I don't. Okay. Oh, we'll, I can we'll, get we'll, we'll, we'll. <laughs> <laughs> As I get the one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 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 Then I'd rather you be you looking over. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that if your gift is dance, and I would rather you be dancing in church, giving honor to God, than out on the dance floor at a certain right. nightclub. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's just me. Mm -hmm. I think everybody's given different gifts. We have a very, 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 very amazing dance ministry. Mm -hmm. um, and it's the, it's actually three different levels. It's our Angels of Praise, which is the little bitty babies, okay. and they are so amazing. They perform on, and they perform on Fort Sunday. Okay. Then we have GC1, which is the teenagers, and then we have the adults, which is um, made to worship. And mm -hmm. all three of them, actually two weeks, at, well, end of last month, all three performed together. And it was just, it just, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. Brought tears to your eyes and see everybody just kind of connected in one worshiping, and so yeah, I have no problem with that, <laughs> sir. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Don, tell tell uh, tell us a little bit more about um, because as I was reading this, I was like, ooh, I can't wait to hear more about this. What what is a uh, uh, 2016 Boss Influencers? Um. I am, the Boss Network is a network um, created by Tamika Smith, okay. who, um, who thought it was necessary for women to connect and network with each other. Okay. Um, so she has a very, very strong network um, um, through social media. And what she does is she leverages her network to be able to help women connect. Okay. Um, the website is thebossnetwork.org. Okay. Um, there's lots of information, articles, um, but it's a way for um, primarily African American women mm -hmm. who are in business to connect with each other, to network, okay. mm -hmm. and share information. She has an or wow. she has a program called the Influencer Program that I enjoy I'm a part of this year, um, and uh, essentially I'm. I get the additional extra exposure okay. um, uh, with uh, the network. So, um, um, I've, uh, and it, it's not just her um, promoting us through her newsletter, mm -hmm. it's letting other people know through social media, but we were um, also get writing opportunities throughout the year. Nice. So, earlier at the beginning of the year, I wrote uh, for Rolling Out Magazine. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's turned around that this is something she's been working on for two years, mm -hmm. but um, was able to work out a, or, uh, an agreement with Black, Black Enterprise. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so um, I'm writing a series of articles. All of us, mm -hmm. all the influencers are writing a series of articles for Black Enterprise online. Yeah. So yeah. my first one hit September 29th, so the next one will hit toward the end of October and the end of 
uh, November, end of December. So um, that's that's the one on branding that you correct. That you're I, I, the series okay, is yeah. on branding. It's to <laughs> brand you, um, and that's something yeah. I'll be launching you know, more heavily into next year. Is yeah. just being more branding conscious because it, I think it's the brand. I mean, everybody has their brand, whether you have a business or you're just per, you know, just a regular individual. Okay. Everybody has a brand. And so what I want to do is help people embrace that brand, market the brand, and help them, you know, do what God has taught, brought, them, brought within them to do. Amen. Amen. We are here um, with Dawn Jones on Black on Black Network. Uh, you're at the money. You, you're listening to the Sunday Morning Perspective, SMP3 with John, uh, Ronita, and Dawn, and we want you to stick uh, stick with us because we're gonna take a quick break, we're gonna come back with more. Mark, Mark. Yes, sir? We haven't told the people to grab their coffee and tea. Grab your coffee, grab your tea, <laughs> 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 your milk, your water, and stick with us, okay? Because we're gonna, we've got plenty of good music and more from Dawn coming up. All right. All right. Gospel twerking. Huh? huh? What'd you say? Gospel twerking. No, you said I'm not twerking. I was sitting over here saying, man, John, don't get him started. I'm not twerking. Twerking on something. John's always starting something, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know, Dom. I'm going to see how they do with trying to bring in a topic. I think there's two women in here. Oh. You know, oh. Donald will throw something at you. Why are you not my friend on Facebook? Yeah, I couldn't get you. No, no, no. Oh, you've been getting all late. No, because you got five. No, you, well, as soon as I seen you, as soon as I'm on Facebook. Actually, yeah, Bob. Oh, we oh, tried, yeah. yeah. So, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 He's reached his maximum amount of friends. Yeah. Oh, my what? We'll get you yeah. now yeah. that uh, 42. Right. Okay. So, okay, I mean, I think that's what they're They're not calling Facebook. Yeah. Status or something. No, they stopped at five. Damn. Oh, okay. It's not like, again, they're going to be there. No, I didn't. Okay. We're set up today. No, I think that's what they're doing. Okay. We're set up today. No, I think 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 we're set up today. How much time we got, Bob? Um, two minutes. North Carolina, I don't like it. Yeah. Yes. And my, my ex-husband was stationed out there this morning. Okay, there. okay. He okay. was stationed for Bragg. Okay, yeah. Oh, you know, Joe? Mm-hmm. Army? Okay. Mm-hmm. With the right, with the right branch? Mm-hmm. Eight seconds. Yeah. And then the right branch. Trying to find that. No, I'm yeah, that's what I mean. My big brother, my big brother, stationed at, in Jacksonville. Okay, okay. Awesome. He's, uh, he's he's a big man. Hmm? Army family. Uh, no, he's like like big brother. Oh, okay. Yeah, but he was in the Marines. Oh, that's all. I, I am so sorry. And, so my niece, my niece is actually reserve army. So my dad was Air Force. So, so. What? Yeah. But yeah, I was. I was. <laughs> <laughs> 